and get your kiss on. Yep. Alright, don't talk. Just listen. <laughs> Alright, what's up my quesadillas? Welcome back to a brand new high quality, top notch, state of the art. Uh what's the what's what's the other saying? Um What's the other one? There's like the there's another word. World class video. Alright, so I had a lot of quesadillas DMing me. They were telling me I should do, I don't even know, like a, a relationship video, a relationship QA. Basically, people out here are having love problems and as a love guru you know as someone who had a girlfriend for a month one time i know these things i know how the relationship works i know how love works and i know how to get these bitches all right and i know what the fellas want for you ladies so i'm here to help y'all out all right so i post all my story to for Retake. so i put <laughs> So I post on my story, told you guys to give me questions or tell me your situation and I'll reply to it, give my thoughts, help you out, all right? So let's read the comments. By the way, I just woke up like 10 minutes ago, so sorry if I look like a bum. I'm aware of this, you don't gotta tell me in the comments. In fact, anytime I look like something, you don't gotta tell me, all right? If my hair's messed up, it's meant to be that way. I know it's like that, okay? If I got a booger, then I know that it's meant to be there. I put that there for a reason, all right? You don't gotta tell me these things. Anyway, moving on to the video. What should you do if you like someone that is. Hey, shut the fuck up. I'm sorry, I can't stop laughing. <laughs> I'm not even funny. What should you do if you like someone that is one year older than you and then you don't talk, but you're in the same school club? How would you talk to that person? What if he likes someone else? How would you deal with it? Um, How would you talk to that person? So basically, you open your mouth and like have words come out and then you start a conversation and hopefully if he replies back then you got a conversation i mean that's a good start probably to you know talk talk to whoever you like that's important and uh if he likes someone else then he likes someone else oh, good advice. Wow. i like a girl and i think she likes me but she has a boyfriend mm, okay okay you gotta soup that honey i don't know you can either respect the relationship not do anything but the thing is if you can manage to pull this girl it's kind of a dick move but you also did him a favor since he won't have to deal with the girl that's like that's gonna cheat on him or whatever and then if you do get her then watch out for other dudes trying to get her which will probably happen so these hoes ain't loyal man how do you not get jealous about someone else having a boyfriend girlfriend by the way, I love you, Kay. I mean, there's hundreds of millions of people with girlfriends and boyfriends, so you're just gonna have to not. You just gotta. I don't know. That's it's, it. You just gotta not be jealous. It's not. Okay. Hello, Kay. I am from California, and I have a bit of a problem. I like being single, and I don't really like dating all that much. Sometimes I feel the need to date someone to be happy and to feel like I'm not alone. How do I stop thinking like that? You literally just said you like being single, and I don't really like dating all that much. And then the next sentence is, sometimes I feel the need to date someone to be happy and to feel like I'm not alone. I don't even know what you're saying. I love this girl, but I broke up with her, mostly because I feel like she doesn't, even though she says she does. Guess I'm running away before I'm right, and she just breaks my heart. But what I'm trying to say to other people in here is part of love is to sticking to someone and being there for them, even if sometimes it feels like they're not there for you or if they don't need you right now. Don't panic like I did and break things off just because you got this whole scenario going on in your head. Because, fuck, I miss her everything. I feel you on that. Sometimes when you like someone so much, you get so scared of like what happens when you lose that person. So you just kind of want to like end it. You just like someone so much that you're just afraid of losing them. And it sucks, but you just got to try to um, just be grateful for the time you have with them. You got to try to make things work. Because if you do everything you can, then uh, hopefully, hopefully she does too. I'd rather do everything I can and then have it not work out than not trying and regretting it later. Actually good advice for once. <laughs> There is this guy that I find really cute, so on my first attempt to start a conversation, I asked how tall he was, then left, and I haven't talked to him since. What should I do? Should I try to talk to him again or just give up? That's such a random first attempt at a conversation. That's like me liking a girl going up to her and say, oh, uh, how much do you weigh? Like, that's just really random, you know? I think you should work on your talking skills before you get a boyfriend. Unless the guy doesn't know how to talk either, then you're both just really weird. But that's what love is, right? You just gotta find someone as weird as you i wouldn't give up though i mean basically as a girl you just gotta look hot enough for them to come to you why are you so fine i don't even know wow. 
Alright Kay, so I have a girlfriend and a friend who just so happens to be a girl. My girlfriend doesn't want me being friends with her because she invited me out for my birthday when my girlfriend wasn't able to do anything for a few weeks. I still want to be her friend. Who's whack? <laughs> Who's whack? Oh shit. <laughs> I feel your girlfriend like, yeah, if your girlfriend was gone for a couple weeks, she couldn't do anything. And then on your birthday, there's some other girl having fun with you. That kind of sucks. So you can have your girlfriend and still be friends with the other girl. Just, um, just make sure you let your girlfriend know that She's number one, and she's the only one. How do I smash? Spam side B. I like a guy at my workplace, but he is 26. I am 18. Before we talked a lot, he said he prefers to date girls three years younger or three years older, but now every time he talks to me, I feel like he treats me more as a girl than towards the other co co-workers. Is it possible to date, or would it just be weird since he's, like, way older? You just gotta let the waves take you, you know? Just, just see what happens. If he wants you, he'll make a move. So just stay cute. Keep doing what you're doing. All right, so I got a guy that I like, but he clingy. What do I do? Whatever you want. What? That's good. <laughs> That's good? Okay, okay. I think it is. Like, what did you want your boyfriend to be, like, not all over you, but... I mean, it's better you than some other girl. Yeah, you gotta think, like, it's better to have your boyfriend love you a lot than not love you. So, I mean, he's just really in love right now, all right? Be grateful for it right now, because... It'll probably slow down later. If you really don't like it, then yeah, I mean, do whatever you want. I think a guy being clingy could be a little unattractive. I think a girl being clingy is cute, though. Fellas, stay on your grind, all right? Don't let these females deter you from your path, all right? Let's get this bread. I've never had a serious relationship before. The last boyfriend I had was back when I was 15, and that relationship only lasted for two weeks. I'm 24 now. How can I bring a man into my life? I feel searching in my situation is impossible. Even online dating BS don't seem to work for me because all the men just seem like they want to fucking leave. Well, first of all, judging from your username it looks like you're 24 and still a k-pop fan so maybe you need to change that you dickhead that's so mean yeah other than that just uh i don't know you just gotta try to be as hot as you can that's basically it what would a guy do if they really like a girl a fucker maybe talk to her that's what you do first actually i got the order wrong my bad i get hella ladies but i don't want no ladies i want to fall in love what do i do fall in love with a guy what to do if my man's Actually, my crush is a senpai and he's graduating next year, so I can't see him anymore. Give him a goodbye, BJ. Okay. If your penis is too small, what should you do? Mm, okay. All right. Here's why dick size doesn't matter. If it's just a hookup, right? If it's just a little fling, not much, nothing important. By the time she sees that you have a little dick, you already smashed. And then if there's love involved then dick size shouldn't matter at that point. So yeah, it really doesn't matter too much. Just keep trying your best out there. Guys don't have everything, but we have a lot of options to improve on. So you just gotta, you just gotta improve on everything that you can improve on. How does one get bobs and vagine? thinking how does one get bobs and vagine hmm okay so in order to get the bobs and vagine you gotta find a girl with bobs and vagine yeah you just gotta get that girl or if you're trying to get some nudes if you know what i'm saying the best way to get nudes is consistency persistence keep talking to a girl keep giving her attention not a whole lot but you know i would say at least send a message every day you know let her know you care and eventually she'll show you that she cares and she'll send you the bobs and vagine that's my experience with getting nudes at least i don't know i know there's other ways if you're a cool dude then you can kind of like let her chase you and then doing that because she wants your attention she'll send bobs and vagine i know ever since my youtube channel blew up girls would want my attention of course so i wouldn't i wouldn't talk to them unless they send a booty pic or something i start talking to them right after that and then they realize oh maybe i should send some booty pics if i want k to talk to me and then they figure it out and they just start sending a bunch of booty pics that's how it always was for me but that's when you got clout so it's like you gotta know yourself you gotta know like you gotta know where you're at in life if you're a cool dude then you know a lot of these things are real easy but if you're not then Make yourself cool and, uh...
There's this girl I like and we went on a date and it's very awkward. How do I fix this or how do you fix this? I am 14 by the way. If you're 14, I think everyone's awkward. So just keep going on dates. If you guys want to keep going on dates, then it doesn't matter if it's awkward or not. You still like each other. You can be a cute, awkward couple. Okay, yeah, it's getting kind of dark now. So I'm going to end the video here. Maybe we could do a video like this again, but with better questions. Because yeah, a lot of these questions were really dumb. Not going to lie. I got some dumb quesadillas. But you know what? We're not dumb, all right? We're just special. Make sure to go get my merch. I'm special. It's lit. And if you do get the merch, tag me. I'll shout you out. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and click the little ding dong to know when I upload. And I like chilies.